Look, your asking price for this batch is just too high. I can't buy in at this price. How am I supposed to turn a profit? Come on, hear me out. I'm telling you, this is the single best batch of Sunsetias ever. You won't find anyone who disputes that. I accidentally dropped one into a well, and even the water turned sweet. Even so... <laughs> alright, alright. I'll let you in on a little secret. The boss of Second Life also wants to buy from me, but I haven't responded yet. If you won't take him, I'll just have to partner with them instead. And neither of us wants that. <laughs> okay. Well, when you put it that way... I'll accept your asking price. I'll take all your stock. Don't sell a single one to Second Life. Oh, I think I kind of kind of remember. Second Life is kind of his rival or something. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, and to be clear, these Sunsetias are mine. I got to them first. Don't get any ideas. You are not kidding. I actually reached the limit for the mint and what was it, the uh, sweet flower? But I guess I have a dozen of sunsetis though. Actually, we want to ask you about a guy called Jury. Have you heard of him before? Jury? Yes, he's quite well known. I've heard a story about him. They say he was born into poverty. His parents died when he was young and he was treated cruelly by the local community. One of his neighbors was terribly rude to him all the time, but Jury never retaliated. And when his neighbor went bankrupt, he even helped support the family. He returned cruelty with kindness, oh, injustice with peace offerings. A gentleman of talent and character, and... Uh, oh, how did I not notice him sooner? In fact, maybe I'm not too late. If I could hire him to be the brand ambassador for Wanyo Boutique. Okay, why do I have the feeling he's gonna be real, like some kind of evil genius or something? Or maybe a toy. And speaker of, here is one. Oh, he sounds like a decent man. We can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Why are you asking about him anyway? You aren't a looking for a brand ambassador too, are you? Well then, in that case, the higher bidder takes the... Hmm? Ah, that's Jury right over there. Why don't we go and talk to him? Where? Where? It's him, all right. Looks like he's chatting with Lean Long. Come on, let's follow them and listen in. Try not to let him see you. We want this information to be as truthful as possible. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna be well, another I'll just go and fetch an employment contract. And hey, don't try and cut me out of this. Hey! I understand. Let's walk and talk. You were looking to buy a wine one? What's the hurry? Don't get too close, or he'll see you. My friend. Try not to let him see you. I understand. Let's walk and talk. You were looking to buy a wineware set? Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, now I can see that you're a connoisseur, so I won't bother trying to con you. I trust you understand our shop quite well? The truth is, an old friend of mine who likes to have a drink... Oh, come on! Then, what's the hurry? How come I'm Don't behind boxes? Oh, this is something I hate about the stealth mechanic. They are not made for this game. I can take puzzle, I can take other stuff, but the stealth, they don't work. Because stealth games, 
Wait, did, are you supposed to say that? Wait, what is it? Ah. In certain game, you actually have to learn the, you know, they give you guidance in a way where you can hide and stuff like that. But here, anything can be actually hidden. I mean, you said the boxes. How I cannot hide? Rise! Oops. Thank you very much, Miss Lin Long. It's my pleasure, Mr. Jiri. These days, it's quite rare for someone of your standing to still keep up with their old friends. It's nice to see. I'll be sure to pick out a good set for you. You can count on me. Huh? Really? Just for this moment, you, do you need to stealth? Shouldn't jump to conclusions just yet. Let's go check out the wharf where he usually goes fishing. Uh, I guess uh, at this point he's gonna be revealed he's some kind of evil guy or fatui or something. Uh, do we have to? Wait, you're not just trying to dig up some dirt on Juri because you want to be Tianchu yourself, are you? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. But hey. If I do become Tianshu, I'll look out for you guys. You'll be able to try all the finest food for free. How does that sound? We will? Well, come on! Off to the South Wharf we go! The wharf is as busy as ever. I hear the anglers here sometimes sell their fish to the nearby fishmongers. Hmm. Well, let's see what Uncle Soon has to say. I will have Oops. order. Oops, I pay so. I was skimming down for the fight though. Is that gonna be on now? Oops, wrong anchor. Anchor sun, anchor sun, who's anchor? Ah. Welcome. What would you like to buy today? Sorry to interrupt. We're actually members of the uh, Liyue Anglers Association, and we just wanted to ask a few questions about someone. We've heard about this young man called Jur Yi, who's supposed to be a fantastic fisherman. Just wondering if you happen to have heard of him? Whoa! Yeon made up a whole fake identity without batting an eyelid! Ah, yes, Jur Yi. He's been making quite a name for himself recently. I've got some friends who travel all over the place, and they tell me everywhere they go they meet someone who's heard of him. Hmm, apparently, he had a rather tough time growing up. Had to work several jobs alongside his studies to make ends meet. Okay, why do everyone like know his backstory? I don't think he be kind of the guy that says, like, Oh yeah, can I have a bad childhood or something like that? How does that saying go? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Well, if there's anything to that logic, he's sure to be phenomenally successful one day. Yeah, we think so too. But I'm afraid your Anglers Association might be in for a disappointment. Huh? Why is that? He's good at a lot of things, but fishing isn't one of them. He fishes at the wharf and sells what he catches to me on occasion. His catches are always... Mediocre. Not terrible, but equally nothing to write home about. If you're looking to recruit some new members, though, I do know a few top anglers I could put you in touch with. That sounds fantastic. I've got a couple of other things to attend to right now, though, so why don't I come back some other time and we can chat over a drink? Sure thing. See you. Everywhere they go, they meet someone who's heard of him. Hmm. Come on. Let's keep asking around. Here to buy some fish? It's 300 for one or three for 1,000. You better hurry. When they're gone, they're gone. Hello. We're from the Society for Fish Price Research. We'd just like to ask a few questions. Wow. She switched identity again. 
Society for Fish Price Research. Uh, I haven't done anything illegal. Stay out of my business. Please, don't worry. We're just here to conduct a simple survey. We've heard about a certain Jur E who's been selling fresh fish at low prices in this area recently. Do you know anything about this? So this isn't about me. You should have said something, you know. I know the guy. I can tell you what I know. I haven't heard anything about him selling fresh fish at low prices, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was him. Oh? Why is that? Because he's so poor. His parents died when he was a very young, and his alcoholic father still owed a huge amount of debt. No one wanted anything to do with him. He was still a kid when he first came to the wharf. His clothes were ragged, and he had a bandage wrapped around his head. And he managed to survive, thanks to Uncle Tien, who gave him some food. But still to this day, he doesn't have a lot of mora to his name. I mean, he can afford to eat and everything, but you'll often see him haggling with others over just a few mora. So, I wouldn't be surprised to find out he's been selling a few fish. It's not like he catches much anyway, so it's not going to affect my business. Uh, uh, don't, don't tell him I said that. You'd rather he didn't know? Well, I spoke to him once briefly, and I just had a feeling that he really cares what other people think of him. I think he has pretty low self-esteem, but hey, it's hardly my place to say anything. What he's achieved already puts most people to shame. And nobody's perfect. I just wouldn't want to upset him. That's all. I see. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. Not a problem. And just for the record, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the price of my fish. The more times you say it, the less convincing it becomes. Hmm. Doesn't have a lot of Mora to his name. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I kind of start to believe that's gonna be some kind of something we really... I mean, so far I think everyone can guess what's gonna happen, but I don't know. I feel something's gonna be a plot twist or something. Hey, it's you guys! Wait, what's the phrase? Oh yeah, honored to meet you. Who is this what kid? What brings you to me? The truth is, we are but newcomers to this territory. We heard tell of a great martial artist, Master Dugu, who knows everything there is to know. Hence, we sought you out to ask for your guidance. Really? People said I know everything there is to know? Again, I never meet his, this kid. I mean, I know the kids from the daily quests of the, the one that played Pius, but him? I don't know, but you can kind of expect me going to be, I don't know, stand out, consider that he has anime hair color. But of course. We also heard that Master Dugu is a kind and virtuous swordsman who never turns away anyone who comes with questions. Great! Uh -uh. So what do you wish to know? Nothing happens on this street that I don't know about. Huh? Now she's lying to a kid. So, Master Dugu, have you heard of one by the name of Jur E? Sure have. You mean that guy that all the grown-ups are talking about these days? I've heard many tales of Jury. For example, um, uh, I can't remember. Probably because it's nothing that important. I prefer stories about sword fighting heroes. Oh, I can completely understand that. Then let me ask you this. Do you remember roughly when the grown-ups started talking about Jury? Oh yeah, I know that. It was about two or three months ago. Before that, people always used to talk about Jury in a kind of nasty tone of voice. But two or three months ago, suddenly everyone started to like him. Sometimes he gives me candies, so I'm glad that people are starting to like him now. Just as I thought. 
Huh? What do you mean? I mean, just as I thought, Master Dugu is indeed as kind and virtuous as the legends claim. <laughs> I'm not that great. Oh yeah, one other thing. These days, there's a lot of people I've never seen before talking about jury stories in the street. They seem like nice people. Oh, definitely. Great, so next time I see them, I'll say hi. And I guess I can share some of my candies with them too. Certainly. You can also tell my friend in Yenshang Tea House about what they're up to. I'm sure my friend would also like to say hi to them. He's the Fatui. You're welcome. Well then, the way she says, thee well, Master sorry. Dugu. The way she say hi, he has to be the Fatui. Until we meet again. Any of that sounds strange to you? Strange? What was strange about it? Juyi seems to have a great reputation. Uncle Soon and Uncle Gao spoke highly of him, and Dugu Shuo seems to like him too. True. But the issue is, where did his sudden celebrity come from? It almost seems too good to be true. Sudden? Too good to be true? What do you mean? So he returns cruelty with kindness, and had to work to support his studies. These are the kinds of things that make someone well-known in their hometown. But Uncle Soon said even his friends who travel far and wide hear about him wherever they go. That's a little over the top, if you ask me. Do you remember what Dugu Shuo said about Jur Yi's stories? Clearly they left him with a good impression of the guy. But beyond that, he wasn't interested in the details. That's the reaction I would expect from any normal person. Plus, there's the fact that all this praise of Jur Yi has only been happening within the last two or three months. His childhood, his studies, the thing with his neighbor. None of these are recent events. So why are these stories only going around now? When you put it like that, it is kinda strange. Of course, if that's all there was to it, I wouldn't look into it any further. Jur Yi was born into a poor family. Paying people to get his stories out there is within the rules of the game as far as I'm concerned. The problem is, do you remember what Uncle Gao said about him? He's stayed poor his whole life. Everything he's earned he's either spent on studying, traveling, or paying off debts. I don't think he has the mora to pay for a publicity campaign. Right. And that changes everything. It can mean a powerful faction is trying to gain influence over the Liu Ad Shixing. That's the worst case scenario. But all too often, the most pessimistic speculation turns out to be closest to the truth. Someone's trying to gain influence over the Qixing? That sounds serious! What should we do? Even if we ask Ju Yi about it, surely there's no way he'd admit it! First, we need to find out who's supporting him. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Remember the current affairs and planning stage of the assessment? Since the successful candidate is duty-bound to implement their plan after taking office, their manifesto tells us their stance on key issues. Whoever is secretly helping Jur Yi must be seeking to benefit from his actions after his appointment. So, we should be able to find some hints in Jur Yi's manifesto on who we're dealing with. Come on, let's get back to Yenshang Tea House. Yeah, there's the key. And when did do go go? Again, I don't think uh, everyone's gonna hate me for not actually be a patient to the NPC, but they don't even try to use the NPC we kind of know about. I mean, I never knew of this kid beforehand. I don't see him anywhere. I mean, you could actually use them in this scenario, consider they're playing fights all the time. But I guess I'm gonna stop here and, you know, go the 
Where else you supposed to go? Ah, there. Okay, but I thought you're gonna make a cut here. 